To convert an MKV file to MP4 is really quite simple. And in today's video, I'm going to give you two free ways to do it that work on both PC and Mac. You can see in my finder window here, I have two MKV files that I want to convert to MP4. One thing to take note of is that the top file is only 3.7 megs, whereas the other file is over 100. So it's kind of big compared to the smaller file. The first way we're going to do this is by simply going onto the internet and typing in MKV to MP4 converter. Next, we're going to scroll down and go to freeconvert.com forward slash MKV to MP4. I'll leave the link to this down below so it's easier for you to access. On this web page here, you can start to choose the files from your device, your Dropbox, Google Drive, or from a URL, or you can simply drag and drop as well. I'm going to grab my two files and I'm going to drag and drop them here where it says drop here any files. Here it's going to ask you to select the output that you're after. I'm going to keep it as MP4. If you wanted to change the settings around, you can select on the additional settings. But if you're happy with just the straight conversion, simply select on the convert button. This is going to upload those jobs and then give you the ability to download them once the conversion is done. Depending on the file size, this may take a little bit of time. The first one, of course, is a lot smaller, so it converts quite quickly. The second one, obviously being a larger file, takes longer to upload and longer to download. The top one is done. It says done here, and I'm simply going to select on download. It's going to open up a new window, then it's going to start downloading away. And then I can open it up here in my downloads folder. So the issue here with using the free converter is that larger files do get rejected and they ask you to pay or upgrade to a paid version so you can download it, which is why I prefer using and downloading a program called Handbrake. Handbrake is a free software on PC, Mac, and Linux, and I'm going to download it now, but I'll also leave the download link in the description down below so it's easier for you to access. I'm simply going to select download Handbrake here, but if you had a different platform on that page, so it's going to download now, I'm going to open up that DMG on my Mac. If you had a different platform instead of Mac OS, you'd go on this page here and select for Windows or for Linux or for whatever it may be. On a Mac, I will give you the tip that once you open up the Handbrake DMG, you will have to copy the Handbrake application over to your, your applications folder to make sure it does pop up in your Launchpad. So you can see I've just copy and pasted it over to Launchpad or the applications folder over here, and then it will appear in your Launchpad. If you don't do this, it will only appear as a DMG that you have to continually open up. So make sure you do copy and paste it from, let me pull it up one more time, copy and paste it from the DMG and just drag and drop or paste it here over into your applications folder. From here, we're gonna just double click and open up Handbrake. Yes, we'll allow it to open. And then it's gonna pop up and ask us what videos would you like to convert? I'm gonna go cancel for a second and show you what Handbrake looks like when you are in this page here, which is the start page. In the top left-hand corner, you have the open source button. We're going to select this uh, open source and it will ask us to find the video or videos that we're wanting to convert. For today's example, I'm just going to select on the 100 meg video that is .mkv and go open. From here, it's going to scan it. It's going to show you the title of the video. It's going to give you a few details of it. And then under preset, you can actually choose how you'd like this video to convert and in what format. So under general, you can have it export it at uh, 4K in 60 Hertz, or you can bring it all the way down to 480p in 30. I'm gonna keep it at 1080p fast. And then you can choose the format you want it to be exported as, as MP4, MKV, or WebM. I'm gonna keep these as standard MP4. Down the bottom, you can also choose where you want to save it to, as well as change the name of the title. But you'll see here at the bottom, it says .mk mp4 instead of mkv because it's going to be an mp4 file if you wanted to save it somewhere else you can select on the browse button and then choose anywhere else that you'd like to save it but here is actually the location i want to save it to and now i'm going to simply select on start if you had multiple options to convert you can actually add this to the queue and then go through and select multiple titles to add into a queue and have them all convert but for but for today we only have the one video so i'm simply going to press on the start button and it's going to start converting. You see down the bottom here, it also shows you the details of the job. So it shows you it's passing through one of one job. It's currently at 1% and it's going to take about eight minutes ETA. On a Mac, 
You can also see down the bottom here, if you go to the handbrake icon, it shows you the percentage of completed as well as the time remaining as well. Now we're just gonna let this run and in about eight or nine minutes, we're gonna have the file converted from MKV to MP4. Now that Handbrake has finished the conversion, I'm simply gonna right click on the file location where we asked to export the file and then go reveal in Finder. And then I'm gonna open up that folder. And you'll see here that I have the MKV file, which is here with 100 megs, and then the converted version of that with the same name, but it's an MP4 and it's about half the size as well. And there you have it, it is that easy to convert MKV files to MP4 using the free online converter, but also using Handbrake for PC, for Mac, and for Linux. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're in a supercharged way as your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.